my gosh. I mean, I love my Sailor Mars Dolphy Dream Sister doll, but Sailor Venus, I don't know, girl. You're vying for the number one spot. Hey, what's up, Sailor Sinchi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel, all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. Today, we have an unboxing and a review and a few tips worked into the same video. The reason why is because I am finally unboxing and putting together my Dolphy Dream Sister Volks Sailor Venus doll. I'm so excited. She has been sitting in my studio for such a long time and I've just been staring at this box and wanting to unbox her, but knowing that I did not have the time to sit down and do it because these are, there's a lot of detail that goes into these dolls and they take a long time to put together, but I did have the time to do it today. So I'm putting her together and I can't wait to show you everything that's involved with these DDS dolls. So I got her and I was also able to pick up her school uniform. This was a separate purchase that you had to make through Volks or a lottery system that you had to go through for the privilege of being able to purchase the doll or the school uniform or both. Luckily, I was able to get my hands on both of them. So this Minato Ward Shiba Park Junior High School uniform. This costs 7,800 yen, so a little bit around $75 or so USD. The Dolphy Dream Sister Sailor Venus doll, she's about 600 bucks. So depending on how long it takes me to unbox Sailor Venus and put her all together, I might do her school uniform as a separate video. And if that's the case, just look on my channel for this separate video, or I will put a card up there when it's available and it's publicized. So I have previously purchased Sailor Sailor Mars, and this is the Dolphy Dream sister of Sailor Mars, and she looks amazing. I love her. She's my favorite inner Sailor Guardian other than Sailor Moon, so she was the first Dolphy Dream sister that I purchased. I don't currently have Sailor Moon, and the resale prices are absolutely redonkulous, so I'm saving up. Hopefully one day I can purchase her, but right now it's not that day. In the meantime, I'm very happy having all four of the Inner Sailor Senshi. Yes, I do have all four. So I am going to be posting a lot of Volks videos if you are interested in seeing these DDS dolls. So Sailor Mars is going to be hanging out with me throughout this video so that she can watch the unboxing process and see where she came from. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and get this girl unboxed so that we can see her all put together. Okay, so I am recording on this top down shot. So hopefully you can see the entire image in this video, but this is the box. It is a very big box. They're like two feet tall. They're pretty tall girls. So there is a toy animation sticker on the box. And then we also have this very simple sticker of the promotional material, the promotional image of the Dolphy Dream Sister Sailor Venus doll. There's a few warnings on the side. Down at the bottom, there's also a sticker that shows the doll. And then on the other side, we just have the Volks logo. So I will warn you, she is not dressed right now. So if you don't want to see an undressed doll, skip ahead. Okay, so here is the Dolphy Dream doll. She she is wrapped in a vinyl material that's kind of squishy and she does have a skeleton inside of her. The nice thing about these Dolphy Dream dolls is that all these pieces can be replaced in case they ever get damaged or you want to change what her body looks like. The only piece that is not replaceable is the head. This is the limited edition Sailor Venus head so that's the piece that's the most important. All right there's the doll. I'm gonna fix her feet because that is totally weirding me out. There we go honey. So this is something I wanted to mention. The earrings that she comes with come with backings. And my Sailor Mars Volks doll did not have backings on her earrings. I don't know if that was just something that was missing from my specific doll, but she definitely did not have any backings for her earrings, so they just kind of chill there. These ones do come with backings, so I appreciate that. All right, so let's take a closer look at Sailor Venus's face. As you can see, it looks really, really beautiful. She does look different from Sailor Mars, the other one that I have unpackaged at the moment. So she does have a different personality to her and she is gorgeous. So I can't wait to get her dressed so that we can see her with her Sailor Venus uniform on. To give you a closer look at all the different materials. So this is her Fuku. This is her Sailor Venus uniform. We have a little bit of vinyl going on for the belt line. And then we have this really pretty shiny fabric for her skirt. She does come with the full leotard and each of these is just a simple buckle. So be careful with these because they're just 
sewn on. Her front bow is going to just simply snap into place. Her choker has a little clasp. We have her gloves, which come with this matte fabric up at the top. It does feel like a polyester or a vinyl. The rest of her gloves feel like the same material as Sailor Mars. These do have Velcro to make them a little easier to put on because it is a real pain in the butt to actually get these on their hands. And then this is her hair bow. So this just slides into place very similar to Princess Kaku's bow if you purchase the pull-up doll of Princess Kaku. And then we have a few accessories. These are her shoes. They have the same kind of similar vinyl material going on. They also have the cute little ankle strap. We have her transformation stick, and we also have her tiara. You already saw the earrings, and this is what her wig looks like. So the wigs do come in a hairnet to keep them all really nice and tidy. She already does have a little flip in her hair, and it feels like it is pasted that way, so it's glued that way. So I don't have to fix it myself. I appreciate that. And she already has her little hair strap in her hair. So that'll be really easy to put together. At least I hope it is. In the package, we also receive just a little advertisement about how the dolls are put together and what you can do with them and how you can take them apart. There's a bunch of different pieces that you can purchase with these dolls. And this is her directions. So this is written in Japanese, but it's pretty self-explanatory. So I'll just set it to the side and look at it if I really need it. Okay, my friends, we are going to go ahead and get her all dressed up. So I'm gonna start with her uniform. The collar comes all the way off and this should just slide into place and these fit fairly secure on these dolls. So it may take a little bit of adjustment to get it on her securely and properly. Get your hand in there, girl. It's like putting clothes on a baby. So this is the part that's pretty tight. There we go. It's got a little bit of a bubble going on there. Hopefully that's fixed when I fasten the buttons. On to all the clasps. Beautiful, beautiful. Still a little wrinkled in the front. Okay, next is going to be her collar, which fastens on the same way. Okay, there we go. She's looking good. All right, now I'll go ahead and add her bow. Again, we have the same fasteners. So I found the easiest way to put their bows on is to stick your hand right underneath the fuku so that you can apply pressure to that clasp from the back. That way you can just press it straight on. That seems to work really well. All right, let's do the collar. So since her collar is a clasp, it's a little bit tougher to put on. So I suggest kind of sticking it at the top of her neck, which is a little bit more narrow, and then applying the clasp from both sides and then scooting it down to where it should be. Lovely bald Sailor Venus, you looking good. Okay, we still have a few more pieces. We have her gloves, which are gonna be the bane of my existence, her earrings, which I will probably do afterwards, and her bow that goes in the back. And we also have her little accessories. So I'll go ahead and do her shoes. Oh my God, shoes. Let's get some shoes. The shoes fit really well on these dolls. There you go, hun. And I kind of like that her ankle strap is connected like that because it sort of hides the joint. Just flip that around. So I'm sticking her buckle clasp inside that back loop to kind of keep it secure there so it doesn't go anywhere. Stick that clasp in the back loop so it's secure and it stays there. Okay, cool. Those were easy enough. Now for the hard parts. We have her gloves, which are going to be annoying. And then we also have her bow and her hair. So gloves, you can remove her joints. So you can take off her arm and put her put her gloves on that way. I was able to successfully put my gloves on Sailor Mars without removing her arms. So I'm gonna try that with Sailor Venus as well. And if I have to take off her, her arms, then I already know how. So I'm gonna just try this first, putting them on the right way. Hopefully I am. Okay, there's your thumb. Your fingers are all over the place. This is complicated. Okay, we got the three middle fingers. Pinky is trying to go in the ring finger department. Can't let that happen. Okay, cool. Not too hard. Adjust it a little bit. Try to set them down on there as far as possible so that they look normal. And then Velcro the crap out of it. I used my fingernails to kind of shimmy her fingers into the glove and that seemed to work really well. There you go, Sailor Venus. 
You're looking lovely. Now for her second glove. Ta-da! Their fingers are so well made. Like their entire hand is really well made, so it's pretty tough to maneuver them correctly. Because they're very, very finely detailed. Like they even have fingernails. All right. You know, I'm kind of glad I didn't remove her hand because that gave me a little bit of force to work with. I was able to press it down against the against the table and that helps with pushing down on the glove and kind of sitting it there securely. Small fingers. Okay. Cool. Oh man, I'm so glad those went on really easily. All right, cool. Okay, so next up, let's go ahead and get this prepared and get her head pieces prepared. So there's two pieces to this that I have learned are the best to use thanks to your comments. So thank you so much for all of my doll fans out there. Thank you so much for telling me how to properly take care of my dolls. So first off, we have her tiara. Since her head is the limited edition piece, we want to protect it. The back of this tiara can stain her head. How do I know that? Because it happened to Sailor Mars. That's how I know. But luckily she's pretty much hiding it with her mane of beautiful raven hair. So you can't really tell where she got stained, but it was up at the top where her tiara was sitting on her. So this is what I learned and what I later did with Sailor Mars. So you take your tiara, take some of this nude colored tape, which you can buy through Volks, and you stick it on the back of your tiara. So I just use one strip of it. That seems to be enough though. Stick it on there. Make sure you have it all covered. I don't. I need to put some more right there. Almost done with this little prep sequence. Okay, so now that this is taped, that means that the paint from the tiara will not be able to rub off on her face. I'll tear off the excess. I'm not worried about that corner right there because that is going to be sitting on top of another accessory. I'll show you that in a second. You can also cut the excess off, um, but it's so thin, it's pretty easy to just tear it. All right. So we now have the tape on the back of the tiara and it's all cut to proportion and it's fitted on there so that none of the paint from the tiara can rub off on her skin. And if you look at it from the front, you can't see any of the tape. Yeah, there's a little bit like up here, but if you're looking at that and it's slightly hidden by her hair, you're not going to notice. So that's a really, really easy hack to do and something that's very simple. I think this is like $6 plus tax on the Volks website. Now, a little bit of a tip, when it comes to this tape, don't put this tape directly on your doll. And I say that with previous knowledge, working with my Sailor Mars doll, and it's something that I have experienced myself and why I don't recommend putting it straight on your doll. Because if over time you just leave this in place on your doll, some of the sticky residue from the sticky side, if you just apply it directly on her skin, can be left on the doll. So unless you intend to like replace this on your doll every single year, I don't suggest putting it directly on the doll. They do have other options. One of my friends, she got like a whole bodycon suit for the Dolphy Dream Sisters dolls so that it covers them from the torso down to their feet. And that seems to work really well for protection. The other thing that I recommend, since their bodies are replaceable, I'm not too worried about those getting stained or damaged as much as I am the head. So the one thing that I did purchase for their head, this is something that's also rather inexpensive on the Volks website, are these little head caps. They're a little bit big. This is a large. It's a little bit big on her head, but I just kind of shimmied it down behind her ears, and that seems to work really well. So I recommend getting one of these and then taping behind the tiara and then not applying the tape directly on the doll. Now that could be in relation to the climate that I'm living in. It is very dry here, so there are different protections and different different cautions that I need to make to ensure that all of my all of my collections and all of my items live a healthy life. If you live in a more moisture rich or high humidity environment, then you may have a different experience, but I am just basing this off my own experience with my Sailor Mars doll. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the head cap on so we can put her wig on, and then I will apply the tiara and the rest of her accessories, and we will show you the finished product. The cap is a little bit stretchy, so you do have some wiggle room with it. I basically just put it on from the front to back and then cover up that little crevice right here that comes on their skull. And I'll slide it down as far as I can get it because that will be a little lumpy under her wig if I leave it up like that. I just know that from working with 
Sailor Mars. Okay, so I got it down pretty far onto her head and then a, I may adjust it depending on how much I can see after I put her wig on, but hopefully it's not much. This is the wig, which I'm gonna carefully remove out of the hairnet so I don't cause any knots. You can't always brush their hair out. Ooh, it's a little wrinkled right there, look at that. Maybe that's because she was in packaging for so long, but I'll have to use, uh, I'm gonna have to look it up and see if these are heat protected. But if they are, I'll probably just take a flat iron and kind of iron that out a little bit. If it's not heat protected, I'll have to find a different option. It's kind of cool though. It kind of gives it a sheen right there. <laughs> but it is a little bit obvious that it's a crease in her hair. Okay, so here's her hair. It's just about the same length as Sailor Mars's hair. Basically her hair is already done. Like it's brushed out, the hairnet kept it in place. It's gonna be kind of an awkward experience, but hopefully I can do it. I think I got it on. Gonna have to adjust that quite a bit, but luckily I have fingernails and that really helps with getting them fitted. Is that on her correctly? I gotta look at this straight on to make sure. So that is kind of a pain in the butt. You can see that little crease right there that I'm gonna have to fix, but it looks like her wig is mostly covered up except for this section. So I'll probably have to just adjust that a little bit. There, now you can't see it. Okay, looking good girl, all right. If her head comes up a little bit while you're putting her wig on, you can always just press it back down and then fix her hair. Where's her tiara? There's her tiara. All right. So tiaras are easiest put on after you do the hair because then you can just slide it on right underneath the hair and then fix her bangs. So I'm sliding it in between the head cap and the wig. I'm sure my way of doing this is probably like super cringy to somebody who collects Dolphy Dream Dolls, but you know, I just enjoy these things. I just enjoy collecting my things, making them look pretty. I'm not like hardcore into doll collecting or anything. So I'm just gonna enjoy it, you know? They're perfect. Oh my gosh, she looks so good. Oh, you look great, girl. Girl, you look great. I need to brush her hair, it's a little messy. But she looks good. So we're almost done. Now that she's got her head cap on. Now we need to put on her bow. Not to give directions. Oh, sorry, I just smacked your face into the table, Sailor Venus. I'm sorry, Minako-chan. So for her hair bow, it suggests putting it on right above the little rubber band or the elastic and then straightening her out. That seems a little high. I think I'm gonna fix it. So now we have her hair bow on, positioned right at the top of her ponytail, and it's kind of hiding underneath there, the little ends of the bow. And that's what it looks like from the front. Look at her, yay, she looks so good. So that did take a long time, so I'm going to do her school uniform in a separate video, because that was, that was a lot of work. So I'm just going to enjoy this for a moment before I take this whole fuku off and replace it with her other outfit. She's got some glitter on her from my table. But all in all, fairly easy to put together. I'm really happy with how she looks. I think she's quite accurate and I'm happy that she is. Her details look really good. Her face is really, really accentuated once you put on all of the different pieces. I think she looks amazing with her outfit on. Let's see what she looks like next to Sailor Mars. What do you think? Oh, they're so cute. I feel kind of ridiculous like buying these super expensive dolls, but these are beautiful. They're absolutely gorgeous and they're definitely collector's pieces. I am never letting like any of my nieces near these dolls because they were so expensive. Oh, and the last thing I wanted to show you with this. So I got her a saddle stand. This came off of Volk's website a while back. They have several different saddle stands that you can purchase. And this just happened to be the one that was in stock when I needed them. So this is the one that I bought and it works just fine. So it works just like a horse saddle where you just set them on top of the saddle stand and then I place them so that they're kind of standing up. All right. So I think I'm ready with her. So this is da -da -da, Sailor Venus. Doesn't she look amazing? She's so super pretty and I think she's gonna look awesome with my other three Sailor Guardians from the Dolphy Dream Sisters set. She does take a long time to put together, but I think she is perfect for this collection. And I'm so happy I was able to get her while she was available 
So far, we have not seen her resold at all through Volks, so I'm really happy that I was able to grab her when I was able to. So usually with these dolls, especially the Sailor Moon ones, you have to go through a lottery system in order to have the privilege of being able to purchase these dolls. And while they do cost over $600, you still have to go through that lottery in order to even get the option of being able to purchase them. And then you also have to do a lottery for the school uniform, and sometimes you may not get both. Volks does have a Japanese website where she was first released, as well as an American website. So if you don't have any luck getting her through the lottery system on the Volks website, you may be able to get a second chance and get her through the American website. I didn't use the lottery system for her. I actually reached out to my proxy in Tokyo to see if he could grab her when she first came out, and he was able to. So on the one hand, that does mean that I paid a percentage to my proxy in order to purchase her, but I also saved on shipping because I was able to get her shipped along with the school uniform and a bunch of other products that I had purchased from my proxy all together at once. So the savings on the shipping is almost equal to what you would pay from DHL to ship both her and the school uniform because Volks only ships them separately. I did not have to pay any customs when she came in, but you might have to depending on wherever you are based at internationally. Even though we haven't seen her resold yet, I do suggest checking and keeping an eye on the Volks websites, both Japanese and American, because we might see her come back. We did see Sailor Mars and Sailor Mercury come back. The only reason I have Sailor Mercury is because they did restock her and I was able to get her although I don't have her school uniform quite yet but I am keeping an eye out for Sailor Mercury's school uniform hopefully I end up seeing one available eventually she is so pretty I'm so happy with my Sailor Venus Dolphy Dream Sister Volks doll I think she is absolutely adorable and she looks amazing let me know if you have any questions about her or if you have questions about the other Dolphy Dream Sisters dolls don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I am unboxing the rest of my Dolphy Dream Sisters dolls. I can't stop like touching her hair. I just want to like play with her hair and make her hair do cute things and like and make it look super adorable. I just can't help myself. Oh, okay. So don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below if you have any questions or if you have any comments about this doll or the Volks dolls in general. Very soon you will see Sailor Mercury and Sailor Jupiter join this team and then hopefully sometime you will actually get to see Sailor Moon on the channel too. I'm just keeping an eye out for a decent price on her. <laughs> Subscribe, like, comment if you enjoyed this, and until next time, I'm Sailor Snuts. Thank you so much for watching. Janet. <laughs>